Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about Trump and the requested delays that he has made, a decision on one of those, and that's where some of the confusion is coming in, and just kind of run through what's going on with all of that stuff. Um, a quick update for those who didn't see the uh, recap last night, uh, the fundraiser that has been going on for Project Rebound, uh, that has finished with uh, $90,000 raised. So y'all did really good. There will be more about that. I'll, I'll put together like a full video about that later. Okay, back to Trump. There are two requests for a delay. This is where it's gotten confusing. There's two. Um, and this is in the E. Jean Carroll case with the 83.3 million, I think three. Um, one of them was for a three-day delay. The other is for a longer pause until all of the post-trial motions are figured out. Um, and they're both seeking to delay enforcement of, well, the $83 million judgment. The judge denied the three-day delay. Um, the judge hasn't ruled on the the longer pause, which would go until all the motions are done. Uh, Trump's attorneys, they're arguing that basically there's a high expectation or they think it's it's very probable that the the judgment will be reduced, that the amount of money that he's going to have to pay is going to be reduced or eliminated. That's what they're saying. Um, and they want to delay it until then. And then there's also talk about a partial bond as well. So there's still things that are open, but my understanding is that E. Jean Carroll can begin trying to collect on Monday. So, I mean, my expectation would be that if you don't hear something today about the longer delay, the one until after the post-trial motions, um, that, I mean, come Monday, he's going to have to pay or put up a bond. And if he does a bond, I want to say instead of 83, it would be 91 something. Um, so, or I guess he could do a, a deposit with the court, put up collateral. There, there's a couple different things, but things have to start to go into motion on Monday. And the judge has said that he'll rule on it as soon as, as reasonably possible. But, I mean, unless we hear something today, I don't really know what that means. I don't know that the judge is going to issue an order over the weekend um, or decision over the weekend. There are commentators who are suggesting that this means Trump doesn't doesn't have the 83, can't, you know, can't pull it together. Um, I don't know that it means that, to be honest. Uh, Trump has a tendency to delay regardless of the situation. Um, so I've seen that commentary. I don't know that that's what it means. Um, it could just be normal Trump stuff. But given the fact that when you start adding all of this stuff up, these different judgments, you're talking about, what, more than $500 million? I mean, I imagine it's not going to be easy to pull it all together. But I know that when the reporting went out, there was a lot of confusion because they said that the delay was denied, and I think most people thought that dealt with the post-trial motion one. And that one still hasn't been ruled on. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.